Wayne Anderson is no ordinary man. He's a man with a dream. A dream to one day break into the music scene and release an album. Our cameras have exclusive access to Wayne's life. Over the next six weeks, we will be there for the highs. We will be there for the lows. We will witness Wayne's effort to break out of the rest home circuit and launch a nationwide music tour. We will be with Wayne as he heads to Wellington for the first concert of his tour and a guest spot on national television. I gonna try. We will be there for his triumphant return home and a concert at New Zealand's premier venue, Sky City. Gold finger. James Bond. James Bond. New Zealand's greatest singer, Wayne Niels Anderson, was born in the long hot summer of 1959. Wayne realised at an early age that he was special, blessed with a three and a half octave voice at the age of 12. Managed by Lou Clawson of Lou and Simon fame, Wayne was on the verge of the big time, but somehow fame eluded him and has continued to elude him for over 30 long years. My, my name is Wayne Anderson, I'm 43 years old and I've been trying to make it in the music business for 30 years and I've been very frustrated because every time I open my mouth people come up to me and they say what a wonderful voice you've got, why haven't we seen you on stage, why aren't you in Las Vegas, why haven't you made records and um, I'm still baffled to this day as to why it hasn't happened. Wayne's manager, Orlando James Stewart, is no stranger to show business, juggling full-time employment in a video store as well as guiding Wayne's career. You know, it's not easy being Wayne's manager. He's got just such a deep passion and it just overrides everything else. Today's music is the range like... That's about the strength of it and uh, basically it sounds like you're opening your pots and pans cupboard and there's that avalanche of pots and pans on your kitchen floor. You know, it's just a, a music, it's it, not musical whatsoever. Whereas I can sing a clear note. La, 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 la. I can sing any type of note. Colonel Tom Parker had his hands full with Elvis and so too does Orlando with Wayne. Well, we've had some wins. I got Wayne a gig at a time at Village in Manurewa. That went well. Wayne may not have been playing Vegas, but with his manager's help, he had cracked the lucrative rest home circuit, and things were looking up. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Wayne Anderson. Just help yourself to my lips, to my arms. Just say the word, and they're yours. Just help yourself. To my arms, and then let's really start to live. All right. Just help yourself. However, six months later, with the bills mounting up and no new gigs, we find a frustrated Wayne looking for answers. Yeah, one of the things that really annoys me about Orlando, he's got a full-time job at this um, video store, and it, it really annoys me actually because 98% of his time is spent 
at this video store. He's supposed to be my manager, but I think if he devoted his whole time to me specifically, I reckon we'd make a great team and we could really go somewhere. My business is a singer, you know. I'm not interested in negotiating fees or wages or uh, getting myself venues or getting myself gigs. That's Orlando's job, not mine. What I'm best at is singing, you know, and everybody's good at certain things and I'm good at singing. That's my, that's what I am. I'm a great singer. If I've got to divide my time between singing and getting myself the work, then the singing's got to suffer. You know, what I really need minimum is one gig a week pays at least $50. I wouldn't sing for any less. Just to survive and, and Manurewa, you know. Yeah, yeah. this would be the one. This would be the one. Yeah, because it's got sausages in it as well, you see. Hi, uh, yeah, I was just ringing to see if you guys actually did any live entertainment. Um, yeah, I have a client. His name's Wayne Anderson. He's probably got the greatest voice in all of South Auckland. And, uh, yeah, basically, he does the Evergreens, Tom Jones, uh, Engelbert Humperdinck, Tony Christie, that kind of thing. And we're, we're just looking for work, basically. Any kind of work. We can do 10-minute sets, 20-minute sets. He, he can sing for up to an hour. Oh, so you're in Henderson? Well, yeah, that's probably a bit out of our way at the moment. No, well, neither of us actually have cars, so... The, the thing is, with Wayne... Uh, the problem we've got is he doesn't have a car, I don't have a car, and so we have to walk to gigs, basically, or catch buses, and, uh, yeah, I mean, that's a bit of a difficulty for us at the moment, um, but it's something we're working on. So, yeah, most gigs that Wayne wants are around Manurewa. Yeah, anything within walking distance, and it kind of makes it hard, it makes my job hard. Well, I've got 6,000 records, CDs, tapes and DVDs of all the greatest artists of the 20th century. For 30 years I've been cataloguing these things, about 80 odd Eastlight folders containing the system, all written out personally by me in ballpoint pen, and uh, I'll show you exactly how the system works. Turn the light on. From A to Z, A to Z, I've got every song in the house. For every song, um, there is a page. Like, for example, My Way would be in here. Under My, for My Way. So what it is, is I've got the song listed, exactly who wrote it, and who I've got singing it, how many versions each artist does, and the key that they all do it in. And that, that's not only interesting for when you um, judge who's got the best version, but for when I perform the song, I think to myself, well, yeah, I would do it in Tom Jones's key. In fact, I would. If I do my way, I would do it in the key of F. This is only one of about uh, six different systems I've got. Um, the other five systems are inside the house there. Let me turn it on. Full, of course. Sometimes I have sauce on the pie, but what I actually like, because I like things so hot, sauce is cold, you see, as I actually heat up some of this um, spaghetti and sausages and uh, use this instead of sauce, you see. So I actually heat that up and pour that over the top of the pie. So that way you've got, uh, you know, beautiful hot pie and you've got uh, some spaghetti and sausages uh, piping hot over the top of it as well. Yes, yeah, so with my extensive knowledge of records and cataloging system, I feel I'm probably the best person in New Zealand to actually run a radio station. In fact, people walk past my house when I play the music fairly loud with the windows open and they say, is this a radio station? Or do you live here? And I said, well, um, yeah, I live here. But um, far more important than the radio station is uh, the fact that I actually need one gig per week. And that's to pay the power, pay the phone, pay the rent, and basically just keep my head above water, you know. And I've asked Orlando, my manager to um, you know give me uh, one gig a week 
um, or fifty dollars, you know, and uh, that's really the most important thing at the moment. And unfortunately, that's not happening right now. Yeah, I, I'd describe him as uh, Manuri was Tom Jones. He's got a very big voice, um, you know, three and a half octaves, and uh, he knows the lyrics to over a, a thousand songs, the evergreens, really. Um, you know, uh, Tom Jones, Engelbert Humperdinck, um, Tony Christie. Um. Coming up after the break, Orlando has some good news. We've got an audition at this place called The Thirsty Dog. And Wayne spends the afternoon with his stylist. I like to look like a man, not like a scruffy wimp. 